Hi everyone, welcome back to BT Vlogs. So today I'm going to show you how we make a special paya dish, very easy and simple. So here we go. I have some two onions, some small onions, one tomato, bay leaf, pepper, cumin, chili powder, saffron, garam masala, and coriander powder, and some fresh coriander. And I have some 50 grams of cashnet and a cup of curd. So what we are going to do now is we are going to go ahead and we are just going to add our paya. And add to that I am going to add all my ingredients. So you can just go ahead and you can boil it raw with all these ingredients that I have showed you. So now I have taken a vessel. And I'm adding the paya to it and after that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the chili powder coriander powder and the saffron and the garam masala in it into it and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to take these spices that is the bay leaf pepper cumin and two cardamoms all right so once I add this Next, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add the chopped tomatoes. So, I'm going to mix this along with this. And then, what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to add the coriander, the fresh coriander into it. And last of all, I'm adding the onions. So, you can chop the onions a bit smaller for more gravy. And once I add the onions, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add some oil to it. And once I add oil, maybe it may be two to three spoons of oil. And after that, I'm just going to add a little more of some salt, as much as required. And I'm just going to mix it for five minutes. So once I mix everything evenly over here, then what I'm going to be doing next is, I'll be adding some water, two cups of water based on the requirement. I'm just adding two cups, which is more sufficient for it to boil. And then I'm going to add my ginger garlic paste at the end so after adding the ginger garlic paste I'm going to give it just a quick mix over here and after this what I'm going to be doing is I'll be grinding the cashnet into powder so once the cashnet is made into smooth paste you could keep it aside and now I'm putting the paya to boil so I'm going to boil it for 20 to 25 minutes. See, once it's boiled, it looks really very yummy. So this is after it's boiled. Now I'm adding very quickly, I'm going to add a pan and I'm just going to add some oil, maybe two to three spoons of oil again. This is for seasoning purpose. So once I add the oil, I just wait for it to get hot and then I'm quickly going to add some ginger garlic paste. One teaspoon of ginger garlic paste and then add the cashnet powder to it. So I keep mixing it for another 10 minutes until I feel the cashnet and the ginger garlic paste is well fried until I don't get that green smell in it. So just keep mixing it for another 5 to 10 minutes as I said and after that what I'm going to be doing is I'm just going to add one small glass of water to it so after adding the water I'm just going to wait for another 5 minutes it will take again for it to start bubbling so once it bubbles and you see like froth appearing on top which means it's cooked and then after that I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add this masala to the paya gravy that is already being prepared. 
so I'm just waiting over here to see it bubbling yes now it starts to bubble you can see it wow so it's bubbling now so I'm just going to add this again into my paya gravy for a creamy flavor you could say some additional flavor it would give you this cashew nut paste and then I wait for another 5 to 10 minutes once my paya starts bubbling up I'm going to go ahead and I'm just going to add the fresh curd as I said it's just one cup of curd for some sour taste in it so this is optional but I always add some curd for a better flavor so after adding the curd I'm just going to wait and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just taste and let us see how it tastes yummy okay so here we go the paya is ready it is a very simple dish with few ingredients what we have at home we don't have to buy from out anything special and I'm just going to serve the paya and along with this paya what I'm going to do is I've already prepared some hot maida chapatis so you can have this with naan or you can have it with rotis or even you can have it with oppers as well so you have a look at it it looks yummy so my paya is ready now so do subscribe for upcoming videos and do like and share and those of you who have not subscribed for BT Vlogs, please do so.